Hi, and welcome to another DIY Tuesday here at Oil Life. Today what we're talking about is how to have that stress-free, relaxed summer. I know at least for me when we're talking about summer, we're looking forward to calming down and getting a rest from all the year's activities. But then it comes to reality and I get to the summer and I realize, oh, I still have all these responsibilities and life is still real. So we're gonna help you today to set up for one of those stress-free summers, even while getting everything done that you need to do. So what we're gonna be going over today is a great stress-free rest and relaxation blend that I love. It's really calming. It's really grounding. It smells great. And then we're going to also go over one of those um, fidget tools for when you're stressed out. It's going to be like a makeshift DIY stress ball. And it's really great. It's so fun to make. It's great for if the kids are home. Um, and we're going to be talking about a few tips first to start us off on a relaxing summer. So our tip number one is to just set the tone right away. As you're getting ready for summer, decide that you want to be able to take some time for yourself, for your family, for a trip. And as you're doing that, maybe set up your schedule. And we love to use one of these journals. I'm using this Oil Life Mandala journal. They're on sale right now for $6.99, which is cheaper than the one I got for myself at a drugstore. And um, just write down the things that you know that you're gonna need to do this summer. And as you schedule those out, then try to get ahead and maybe get things done that you can beforehand. And if you can't, then know that those things are coming up and be able to schedule some time for breaks and relaxation around that. And another tip that we have is to simplify. If there are any commitments in your life this summer that you really don't need, throw those out and go to the pool instead, take a walk, be outside, really just take some time to be in the moment that you're in. Um, we love writing these things down in our journals. And another tip, obviously, is to use your oils. So let's get right to that roller blend. We're going to be using cedarwood, marjoram, vetiver, and lavender today. These are some of my favorites. They're very grounding. Um, we're going to do five drops of lavender to start. Mm. This is a brand new bottle of lavender. And it's one of my favorite oils, so I'm very excited to be using it today. We're going to do three drops of this vetiver oil. And this is one of those scents. If you've smelled it, you know what I'm talking about. It's very um, distinct in smell. And it's kind of slow to come out. And I think that that's normal because it's pretty thick. But you only need three, so that's perfect right there. And then we'll do four drops of marjoram. And this is a brand new bottle too. And then we'll do four drops of cedar wood. And then once you've gotten your oils in that roller bottle, you're gonna wanna top it off with fractionated coconut oil. And today I'm going to be using a plastic roller, but we've got some really fun ones. Recently I've loved the gemstone rollers. There's also a stainless steel one, which to me is really soothing, especially if you're using um, the rest and relaxation roller blend on your temples. The stainless steel rollers are just so calming to me. So that's an option as well. And then these are just our little tools. I'll show you while we're at it. These are just our little tools that help you to, um, to place that little roller ball at the top of the bottle pretty handy a difficult task otherwise and then just go ahead and close it up oh this is an oil cap and you can put your own sticker on there or use one this particular recipe is in the summer lookbook so that's actually releasing just barely so go ahead and get your sticker from the summer lookbook and place it on the bottle um, it's going to be a great one for you to carry with you all summer in your beach bag, in your purse, wherever it is, next to your journal with all of your tips, uh, making this summer really rejuvenating, something that you can use to reset and relax. All right, let's get on to the fun craft. This is our do-it-yourself stress ball. And um, it's a little bit of a science project, so again, if you have kids in the home, they're going to love this. It's just two cups of cornstarch. And if you would rather this be more natural, you're welcome to use arrowroot powder by itself or flour by itself. It's a little bit messy, which is really fun. Again, this is gonna be a fun project. Two cups of cornstarch, 
to one cup of water. And I've done this, and as I've done it, uh, I've realized that I like the smaller ones better. So for me, one cup of cornstarch is good enough with half a cup of water. However you want to do it is great. If you want to make multiple, you can double the recipe, triple it, whatever you want to do for a class or a kit, and then go ahead and add the water, and it's going to bubble just a little bit, which I kind of like. You can even hear it bubbling. It's audible. And then the cornstarch has this great reaction with the water. If you bake, you probably know this. But um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to kind of dissolve into the water when you're not touching it. But as you touch it, as pressure is applied to it, it will solidify. So it's a very interesting mix. I don't know if you can see it, but it's bubbling up pretty good here. And it's kind of difficult to mix in because, again, that pressure will make it solidify. Whereas if you're not touching it, it will just dissolve right in. So what I've done is just kind of very softly, I just dig my fingers into the sides of the cornstarch and I just get it off that bowl. And it takes a little bit, just be patient with it. And I just kind of make sure that all of the dry parts are getting into the water. And the more you touch it, the more it will feel like it's not mixing, but it is, I promise. So just grab off those edges. It's so fun. The kids are gonna love this. It feels like Play-Doh that kind of suctions at your hands. And then, as I'm getting it off of the edges and the bottom, then I just start to kind of, this is not really a word, but I'm going to just steep my hands into the water. You'll see what I mean as you try it. Just pull it off of the edges of the bowl and then just let it be. And you'll see that it's totally mixing into the water. And when you're not touching it, it will just be this liquid mixture. I even like to kind of settle it in the bowl so I can see where the big chunks are that haven't dissolved. So for mine, it's on this left side, there's a chunk that I haven't gone in and gotten with my fingers yet. You're welcome to use aprons, placemats, whatever it is. I had cornstarch all over me. I think it's fun. So whatever you want to do, you're welcome to do. Mine is just about mixed in. Again, the more you touch it, the more it's going to feel like it's not mixed in. So just sit back for a minute, let it be, shake it in the bowl, and you'll see that it is liquid. This is one of the coolest mixtures um, that I like to play with, and it's pretty natural just things that are in your pantry so then you have a couple choices we were just being resourceful so we used something that we already had in the drawer which were some latex gloves um, just for cleaning some people are allergic to latex you're welcome to use anything else you can use a ziploc bag and tie it at the end with a rubber band you can use a balloon that's fun so if you're going to use a balloon i would recommend pouring this mixture into a water bottle and then putting the balloon, the edge of the balloon, the open part, over the nozzle of the water bottle and pouring the mixture into the balloon that way. And um, what I did with our latex glove is I just filled it up kind of like you would a frosting bag. So I just rolled the edges out and then I used one of these measuring cups to just pour it right in. I realized that the measuring cup was messier than just taking the bowl and putting it over the sink. So at the end, I just put the bowl itself and directly poured from the bowl over the sink and that worked perfectly for us. So obviously this was a glove. So at the end, this is our finished product, and I just tied the fingers together, and it worked out perfectly. And as you play with this little stress ball, you're going to feel that the more that you touch it, it'll be solid, but it's very soft otherwise. It's a very interesting texture. You'll have to try it out. It's so fun. And it's one of the great things that you can carry around with you on a road trip. It's a great project that you can do when the kids are home. You don't, you don't have another project for them. Um, and again, it's just one of those stress-free, stress-releasing mechanisms and tools. We really hope that this summer is something that is wonderful, relaxing, rejuvenating for all of you. We hope that you try out these blends and these little fun projects. And if you do, make sure to leave it in the comments. We're so glad that it, the sun is out and we'll be keeping you updated on our summer activities too. We'll see you next time.